Amnesty International says a volunteer battalion fighting in the country's east has committed human rights violations. In a newly published report, the group says the paramilitary unit, which is on the side of Kiev, was responsible for arrests, abductions and blackmail. The briefing we released in Kiev was specifically focused on the north of Luhansk region and the abuses caused by the IDAR volunteer battalion. And this included, again, abductions, beatings, uh, disappearances, and a range of human rights abuses. So the issue really is about establishing as to whether war crimes have been committed or not, and that's precisely why we are calling for a full investigation of all allegations of war crimes on both sides. Well, paramilitary units fighting against militia in East Ukraine have repeatedly been accused of abuses against civilians. This video, for example, shows fighters bursting into a private house in the Lugansk region. A man with a covering over his head is dragged out, beaten, and then placed in the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> Western media has been raising the alarm over neo Nazi brigades fighting alongside the Ukrainian army, with headlines claiming that such units provide Kiev with an extra line of defense. Many of these groups have a clear sympathy for ultra-nationalism and fascism, but let's take a quick look at some of the insignia they've borrowed from Nazi Germany. Maybe history starting to repeat itself here. This, for instance, is the Azov Battalion, one of the paramilitary volunteer units, and that's their emblem. You can see it there. It's called the Wolf's Angel or the uh, Wolf's Hook. Now, it's a pagan symbol, goes back years for protection, as well as for capturing one's enemies. But here's the insignia of SS divisions now coming up um, from the Second World War. Nazi Germany. Look, they look pretty similar, don't they? Another volunteer battalion is the Donbass, uh, created with the sole purpose of combating the self-proclaimed Donetsk and Lugansk republics. It sports this eagle of an... this emblem of an eagle coming up. Where it is, there you see it on your screens. And this is the Eagle of the Third Reich, established in the 1930s, again by Adolf Hitler.